Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the Art So Wonderful show. And I'm Bruce Wilson, Executive Director of Art So Wonderful. And I'm, I am so happy today that I have my wonderful executive assistant with me, Laura Thibault. And she's going to help co-host the show, probably going to actually run the show for us. And so, Lauren. Thank you, Bruce. How are you doing today? Oh, well, well. Um, so Let's talk about some what's going on. We here. have a lot of exciting events coming up yeah. uh, for Art So Wonderful. There's going to be a jazz fest at the U Mall that's happening on June 4th. So make sure you're there. It's going to be from 2 to 4 p.m. And then on the 9th, we're going to have an well, Art wait a So. Minute. Where's it? Where's it? One that gonna be? June that's going to be at the U Mall. Oh, University Mall. June 4th. Okay. 2 to 4 p.m. We look forward to an Art So Wonderful Jazz Fest. It's going to be in the center court, so right across from our Art So Wonderful Gallery. Um, following that, on the 9th of June, we're going to have an Art So Wonderful Gallery and open mic at Crew Coffee on Church Street. That's going to that. be that's exciting. Gonna be, that's going to be so fun. It's going to be good. That's yeah. going to be from 5 to 7. Yeah, yeah. Come so our, we're very lucky to have our Hunter Cornell, our one our event coordinator, doing the cameras right now. He's and uh, he's helped planning uh, the crew coffee and all our events. So that's cool. That's Thanks, gonna Hunter. be awesome. Yes, thank you, Hunter. Um, in July, we have something very fun to look forward to. That's going to be our ninth annual Art So Wonderful uh, fundraiser gallery. It's going to be an Art So Wonderful Tattoo Expo. So we are looking for local tattoo shops to come set up booths and come show the community what you're all about. It's a great opportunity for artists and we're looking forward to um, an awesome event Let, there. Let's talk about that one a little bit. Yeah, that's going to be yeah, at the Burlington Marriott yeah, downtown. Down on Battery Street. Right on and, Battery um, Street. What a what an incredible is in the Harbor Room. What what an incredible incredible space to have a like a fundraiser, at, especially at the Marriott. You know, that's like yeah. premier spot. And then also to give um, uh, um, tattoo artists an opportunity to showcase their their um, what they do and promote what they do via social media and and actually um, provide some. Um, what are they going to do? Paraphernalia? Are they going to be selling yeah. stuff? What, what are you, you know, gonna, what uh, can they do there? You can set up uh, examples of your work. If you have any t-shirts or, you know, merch, hats, wristbands, uh, bring your artists out. You know, mm. really promote what you've got going in yeah. your shop and get your name out there. Get some clients, hopefully. Yeah. Um, that's going to be July 29th. Yeah. Plus, they get, and plus, um, not only that, but they can set up appointments for people to come get tattoos and mm -hmm. pick some art while you're there, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, while they're there, they, they can, somebody can pick some art um, that they like. And maybe they're maybe they selling art, tattoo art. Right. That's so incredible. The tattoo art, oh, my God. It's like incredible how they draw it. You, if you ever look through a tattoo book, truly, yeah. wow, so much going on. And so I, I'm really looking forward to that. Normally, uh, we have... Um, uh, well, not normally, but you, we have a different type of um, art when we do things at our um, annual um, art show at the Marriott. It's our ninth year. And so new, usually we have, like, I think last year was, like, acrylic art, and then the year before that was graffiti art. And um, and so to this year's tattoo art. Oh, awesome. I almost forgot. Kadena's going to be there. Oh, Kadena's yes. Kadena's going to do some live painting, baby. Body pain. Oh, Kadena, we to love that. you so much. <laughs> I wonder if she's going to have any male um, models. I doubt it. Well. If she asks you, she might get some male uh, models. But if she, you know, she asks me, it's going to be stick to the female model. <laughs> or, or ask Hunter. Yeah, Hunter. <laughs> I think Hunter's going to say, oh, yeah. let me think about it for a minute. <laughs> But that's going to be fun. What else it's we gonna got going to be going awesome. Um, so we are also doing a fashion show Ooh. at the University Mall. It's going to be an Art So Wonderful fashion show in August, August 13th. We're going to run the runway right through our Art So Wonderful gallery. And the stage is going to pop out through our doors. It's going to be great. We're going to look forward to models from every store in the mall. There's going to be music. There's going to be raffles. It's going to be uh, art, of course. Mm. What kind of music are we going to have, Hunter? Uh, we're going to have gospel. 
I mean, at the um, fashion show. Oh, we're going to just have, like, jazzy, low-fi, like, classical, like, groovy type music. Awesome. Doing some runway beats. It's going to feel beats. like a yeah. New York Fashion Week right in our oh, U-Mall. Yeah, it's going to be our cello. <laughs> our cello fashion <laughs> week. And that's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see that. You know, we've done over, like, three or four already in the, in the mall. And um, they've always been incredible. And so I can't wait to see um, this one, you know. Me, yeah. You know, and, Me too. It's going to be. Oh, that's right. Because we got um, Bella Lusa is going to be in there with, with right? the jewelry too. Wow. So she, they have some incredible jewelry, Bella Lusa in the University Mall, who said they excited. I know. We have, I'm, we're really thankful to have them on board. And, you know, we're looking forward to keep setting things up for that. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a very filled event. Um, yeah, definitely. Awesome. Well, well, guess what? what? So today, we're very fortunate to have um, Lisa Weber from uh, one of the owners at Crew Coffee uh, painting one of our electrical boxes yes. right as we speak right now. That's right. Isn't that awesome? And the electrical box is, where is it at? It's on, um, um, uh, it's on the corner of... Uh, when it's South Winnesky Avenue South and Winnesky Bank Street. South Winnesky Avenue Bank right, Street. Right, right, right in front of uh, Handy Service Center. Right. And like, the other day, we was all out there and um, <laughs> trimming, trimming, grass. trimming the grass, and she was painting it black, mm -hmm. priming it, and um, and it's gonna be so nice. She sent me the design. Oh God, it's, I can't she's wait like to see that. Lisa, like let me go out around town, and look at your other boxes, and see if um, get if, some inspiration. Uh, yeah, get some inspiration as well as is any of the designs look gonna look like hers. I'm like nobody, nobody's got the design like you, Lisa, because this her design is like. God, it's going to be popping. Tubes. Little tubes. Mm -hmm. It's going to be popping out there, man. It's going to be so nice. And we, we we really love our artists, you know what I mean? And, that, and we love to, um, one thing I also wonderful love to do is help artists showcase their talents in art in places, in public places. So we have uh, over 60% of the murals in Burlington. And, and we have murals in St. Albans. We have murals in Rutland. We have murals in Winooski underneath the bridge. And... Um, all those cool murals we got. Uh, we just uh, last one we did was at um, Pearl Street Beverage, where you um, it was. It's a dedicated to um, essential workers. We have an um, incredible large mural at the University Mall in the food court. We are uh, in the University Mall. We have um, one that says Vermont with uh, six foot letters, which um, we're gonna change to a T-shirt. You guys, wait till you see those Vermont T-shirts coming out. Everybody's gonna want one. And we have um, on Asiana House, and we have murals, so so many cool places. And the whole thing that well, I'm excited, always to get excited about, is to see um, art. We help artists put stuff in public spaces, man. Right. How often, especially downtown in any city. Right. How big is that? It it really is so awesome that we can get the artist's work, you know, represented in places where people don't even have to go out of their way to look for art. You know, it's really meaningful, and I think it definitely brings a strong sense of community, getting everyone involved and being able to see, you know, beautiful murals and painted electrical boxes and everything that's going up. You know, the yeah. Art So Wonderful has been helping piece together. Yeah. Then we got the, you know, that, the one, another one we, I'm going to tell you a quick little story from our lead muralist, Jamie Bedard. Um, on Union Street, there's a, there's a, a mural that says, uh, Black Lives Matter, and, it, and it's like, I don't know, 50 feet long or whatever, and eight feet high or whatever. And so we have a, uh, Arts and Wonderful has a graffiti abatement program as well. And so what we do is help clean, we clean up graffiti to keep the city really beautiful. And a lot of uh, restorative organizations like uh, send individuals to us who might have tagged up the to town mm -hmm. to help clean it up. And then it's part of, we'll, and part of what Arts of Wonderful do, it does, it's like, guess what? Now we, and we go out and help them clean it up. Guess what? Now you can put a cool mural up there, mm -hmm. part of your community service hours. And so how awesome is that? Because we believe in restorative justice. But, and, but so, we, so, we, so we have a lot of murals that, 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 um, that represent that. You know, you see the ones behind Handy's, all the graffiti art ones, and Union Street. And, and so I, I am so excited about, you know, the murals. It really makes me feel good, you know, when I see them and I see individuals working on them and to give them opportunities to, um, 
like I, like you said, we both said, showcase their talents. Because guess what? Um, they could when you showcase your, they get a chance to showcase their talent. They can put it in their press kit, their um, resume, their or job application. Exactly. You know, and show people this is where my art is, right smack down downtown on this building. You know what I mean? How big is that? You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what um, art so wonderful in our um, parent company. Um, Service rendered, incorporated, do you know? What I mean, that's that's who we are, you know. Right. And I'm always really ready to put a mural up there. But the thing, I never put a mural up there. I never put a paintbrush on myself. So <laughs> I'm I'm the good. I'm me and one of the directors. Like we're so good at priming the wall. They think Bruce, you just prime the damn wall. You don't don't <laughs> don't even try to draw a little stick a person or nothing. You just prime the wall. You're so good at it. So that's what the executive director do. It's prime one. I'm so happy to to do that because I want to make sure that it's a lot of paint up on the prime and and things like that. So, are so wonderful and our um, our um, murals is incredible. So you got something coming up too, you know? Oh, Let's talk I do. about your program. So we are yes. working on um, a program called Gardens for Goodness, and this. Well, that's that's what I'm talking. Okay, go ahead. Can we talk about that one? Okay, Gardens for Goodness is super exciting. So we want to bring um, accessibility and the community to more resources and hands-on um, experience in growing crops, you know, growing food, um, permaculture, and learning about what plants thrive here in Vermont and the ecosystems um, and the plants that go along with those. Um, we want to also focus on plant medicine and naturopathic medicine. There's a lot of wild plants um, native to our area that you can go right out into your backyard or a local park and find and utilize in your day-to-day -day life. So we want to teach more Vermonters about that and how to find those and use them, process these plants and uh, store them. Mm -hmm. You. <laughs> So all these years, you know, from child, I'm like, damn, I gotta go, look at those, a million dandelions growing in my damn yard. Right. How, I need to get those out. So now you told me something about dandelions. What, what are dandelions, what they're worth? What is their worth? Right, so even, even dandelions are a plant medicine within themselves. Um, you can use the flower, the leaves, and the root, um, and they're all medicine. Uh, they have anti-inflammatory properties. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with them. They have a lot of nutrients, surprisingly, and minerals in them. Um, you know, things you would never think of. And they feed the bees, so oh. it all feeds in to the ecosystem of taking care of ourselves and the planet. Oh, wow. What other plant that, you know, what are some other plants out that you can use for medicinal? Medicinal. What other uh, types of uh, um, plants? So I'm just curious. I mean, we went over it. Yeah. We and Meg, we yeah. and uh, Hunter, we all went over it the other day. But uh, um, let's hear it again. So there's a uh, Saint John's wort, which is another herb that you can find here. Um, Echinacea is like a flower. It has uh, properties. You know, even oats. You know, an oat straw um, is very soothing. Um, What'd that do? Oat straw? Yeah. Um, so have you ever had a rash before and, oh, yeah. you know, taken an oatmeal bath? Mm -hmm. So it's very soothing to your skin. Oh, yes. And, you know, it's something you could go find in a field. So it's, it's awesome. And when we're going to be doing that stuff, too. We're going to be going, like, exactly. all the type of things we're going to be doing is, like, like going through the culture, you know, uh, fields and... Um, you know, finding things. I, I, I mean, you guys have, you know, you, the curriculum is not re, re not yet, but, uh, you know, I know we talked about how exciting that's going to be for, for um, who's, who are the people we're trying to attract at this? So, to work with you. we want to work with everyone, but we want to also focus on our senior citizens and bringing them out and, uh, you know, back out into the nature and getting them involved with holistically taking care of their body and accessing natural medicine. You know, whether that's something they used to do and they've, you know, over the years fallen out of touch with due to accessibility, or if they've never had it accessible and it's something they want to learn about. We really want to get um, everyone out there. You mm -hmm. know. 
And, and I get, I, I'm willing to bet you, like, senior citizens, gonna, they're going to know a lot already, you know, because right. um, they, um, through their ancestral, you know what I mean? Um, right, and they know, can teach us, teach too. Teach us some stuff, too. Wow. And another part of, too, uh, um, we're going to go to the senior homes. And, and, and so what was the plan thing he was talking about? Um, uh, so. Seniors at, in their in senior um, place homes. So. We'd like to go to senior homes. We're going to bring. Um, garden boxes, hopefully to hang in their windows and um, have them do a little hands-on um, arranging of different flowers mm -hmm. and uh, have a little garden right outside their window cool. for them. That's awesome. You know, because, you know, shoot, I know a lot of um, people, you know, who just like to have plants, you know, and just... Um, like me, you know, I like to have some. We got to get some plants up in our our so wonderful gallery. And we do, yeah. Hey, how does how are we gonna? Well, you 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 guys will teach me mm. about fires, lighting, and all that type of stuff. There's so much light in that place. It's it's the light is like you can grow. Um, <laughs> ah, I don't know. You can grow a lot of that. Turn lot it into of, our you know, garden. Yeah, a garden in in um, our so wonderful gallery. Um, so that, I'm looking forward to that. Um, it's gonna you know, be awesome. we we gonna. Um, Anybody want to donate? Um, anybody want to donate a plot to us? Why well, you talk about it? You ask. Oh yeah, so we're looking for a plot of land uh, currently to get all of this started on, um, where we can put beds of uh, vegetables for food, and then um, a plant medicine garden with different herbs in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was uh, some organic soil. Well, yes, we can we right. can do that. How 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 high how high does the soil need to be? You know, like you know, you put organic soil. Does it over top regular soil? Can you do that? Well, if you're doing it in a raised bed, it would be a few feet. But if oh. we're digging it into the ground, well, it'd also be a few feet dug yeah. into the ground. Oh, okay. A few feet. <laughs> yeah. So that's that, you know we, that's not no problem. We're not looking for an, an anchor, uh, acre or nothing. No, that's, no. We just need, well, like a plot, right? Like a decent plot where we can yeah. grow things and take it to the seniors and everything you you say you and Meg weren't going to do. So I'm, I'm excited about that, too, because I was an old little country boy in Chicago. Uh, my uncles and I um, owned these summer homes, mm. and I, they used to make me go out there. And <laughs> when, that kind of, and when they say come ride the horses, I was like, yeah, I'm out here. When they said, like, well, you need to slop the hogs or... Do the garden, you know, plow the garden. I'm like, oh god, I mean, I didn't really care, but I learned a lot because I had to. And um, quite frankly, that's what brought me to Vermont to live, you know, because of the mountains and the lakes. And you know, I was a city boy, you know, I was a country boy, city boy, you know, what I mean? so because I lived in the city, you know, in High Park, but uh, I was also the country boy because I was in the country. So, which, so I'm glad I was, I'm able to be able to do both, you know. Right. And I'm glad we're gonna be bringing it back, you know, because. Got to, man. Right? It's very important. It's um, These are skills that you utilize and keep in your life, you know, to take care of yourself. And it's something that should be taught to everyone. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. that you, we're working on that. Mm. So the good thing, too, is that, um, you know, we're not going to use, our, like always, I'm not going to use, well, I'm not going to use my little tiny brain as much no more than say, go ahead. Yes, you can do this. You know what I mean? Just making a decision. Is that you can do it, I and mean, you already know you can, you know, because we only, all, all, all of us, all we want to do is good stuff. So, what? How can you say no to something good? Never, I would never, could never say no to something that's working good or that you want to do good. Um, but we also will be working with like colleges, you know, like um, the different. What's the name of the departments? Then like uh, we'll be working for um, plants. And, um. Um, um, but the horticulture. For, horticulture and mm -hmm. botanica. Oh yeah, botanica. Uh, botanica. Um, classes mm -hmm. and um, through the high schools and, and probably more around the um, colleges who we work with through our United College Club program. And um, that's going to be awesome. So we have some professors on our team and um, just plain old farmers, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. who, um, who know how to grow stuff. You know what I mean? right. <laughs> they know how to plow a field, know what you're supposed to do, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. what element will what things you can do. So, so I'm excited to learn about all of this. You know, and so far I've learned a lot just listening to you and um, Meg and Hunter about the things that we know that we hope to grow and cultivate. Right. So, um, well, let's talk about your program, oh, your arts program. Outside the lines. Outside the lines, baby. Yo. I'm going to be teaching a collage program. Mm -hmm. um, 
be doing, you know, a variety of ages for that, but it's going to be uh, working mostly with vintage National Geographics. So that's, they're really awesome uh, material in there, but we're going to be learning how to cut out the pieces, layer them, uh, and overall the um, artistic expression and the story they tell too. There's a lot of intuition um, and kind of subconscious processing, I feel, that goes behind putting together any piece of art, um, but especially collages seem to really tell a story because they're already pictures. So we're going to be going over, you know, kind of the thought process mm -hmm. and the physical process with that. I, I'm, I'm so excited for that, you know, because um, like you said, um, not only, you know, when they put the collage together, like, you know, you know, I don't know what your curriculum is yet, but, um, you know, people will have a story to tell around it. Isn't that awesome? Because mm -hmm. we love stories. Right. And then we love to hear, you know, why did you put the, this in that, or a fish, or the sun, the moon, or whatever. Right. You know, why did you, why did, why a person might have done that, you know? And so it'd be awesome to hear the stories behind it. Right. And so I, I know we got to get our back room together. Mm -hmm. Damn, honey, we need that truck, bro. And so we need to get that uh, our back room cleaned out because it's it's around 700 square feet or so. It's gonna nice, nice size mm -hmm. get room some for it to do going. to do our classes. And, um, at our art so wonderful gallery in the University Mall. And so um, I can't wait for that, you know. I, I really can't wait for it's those classes awesome. to start. Um, people people going to really enjoy those classes as well, you know. Um, and then also, too, I want to start, um, re, you know, do like our current event, do some type of current event. Like since you're telling stories, I always wanted to do it through our, we have a book club called Starving Minds Book Club. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure that that gets going again and people talk about um a lot of things. They sometimes they talk about traditional books they might we might they might read, and then sometimes they talk about. We say we we we's like okay, it don't have to be the traditional book that you read because you can be a comic book that you want to share, or it can be some current events that's happening in the world today. It can be about um, not only current current event stuff, but it can also be about like the vacation you took. You just want to talk about the vacation that you. Taken, you might want to show some, so show something at our um, Starving Mind Book Club, and so our book club is a little, little different than their traditional one. Where that's what makes it so nice, you know what I mean? That you can pretty much like just talk about anything, you know. If you got some, you know, it's about words, you know what I mean? Right. How good is that? So I want to make sure that's that awesome. you, you um, make sure, get that going. Um, and so I'm happy about that. Um, oh, won't you talk about Juneteenth event? That what you know about um. What you know, um, the art that what you what you're making for um, the city, in the, the town of Essex. Right. So um, for the town of Essex, we're going to be making um, a collage poster board for the Buffalo Soldiers. Oh, man, that's nice. Right. So that's going to be for Juneteenth. Um, the Buffalo Soldiers were an African American cavalry in the Civil War, and um, our poster board is going to be honoring the troops that served in that and kind of showing you who they were and uh, their energy and, you know, what they were all about. So you remember that circa, you remember what, um, that 18 Circa something? 1863? Two, two, uh, uh, two to 1951. Oh, you probably know. <laughs> yeah, but. Estimated. The, wow. circa, circa's estimated. I didn't realize that the uh, Buffalo soldiers went to into the 19 especially 1950 mm -hmm. but but um we did our little due diligence and um our homework and uh we, whoa it, it's a it was a lady uh buffalo soldier that's um, gonna be included in your williams art, including your artwork mm -hmm. on the sandwich boards that we're going to be putting in the communities yes. around uh ss uh, town to let everyone know when the um um, this is representing, this is talking about uh, the Buffalo Soldiers, and then on the other side is going to say the Circa, I mean, talk about the history of it. Mm -hmm. But it was a cool lady. There's a lady, she was the only female. Yeah, because she was the only female, um, and she was also the first African American female to enlist in the Army. Oh, wow. So she has her nice spot on the Did board. She, yeah, I saw that. She's so beautiful, and, and, and I'm glad you put a big picture of her, her mm -hmm. there. And then um, 
they all was like, they had these incredible uniforms, right? They did. They there's there's some out. pictures of them wearing like full furs, you know? <laughs> I got some cool pictures on there. I know, isn't that cool? <laughs> uh -huh. So that's going to be awesome, you know? And, um, and also, um, there, it was, it was some younger, it was like, like young, young. Yeah, there like were some you young, young how kids old there. How you think they were? Had to That's not have been older than like 12 or 13, yeah. you know? They was all decked, they had their little uniform mm -hmm. on too. They was all mm -hmm. ready, man. And the kitchen staff. Yeah, they, they and there's chefs the in the middle. Chef and how they white on. They was like, God, they had some uniforms. They were decked out. They was like, just like pretty much every African man I know today, they always decked out on something, you know what I mean? They always clean. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, so that, I can't wait. That's going to be a good one. And, and um, so all your supplies be coming in right real soon. And, right. You know, and um, we just got to go get them. Mm -hmm. um, what else? What else we going on? What else we doing? And what else? What's oh, happening? we have quite the surprise. So we have a new event space coming Ooh. to the heart of downtown. Oh, it's yeah, going to be baby. over 5,000 square feet. Um, we're calling it, it is the function. The function. Ample parking, right? It's an optimal location. We're very excited for everyone to Definitely. see that. Definitely. You know, so and we went up there and looked at it, you mm -hmm. know, and um, you and Hunter and I, and um, you're like, oh, that's got to be, <laughs> that's got to be turquoise and the <laughs> floor just need to be, I'm like, what happened over here? I'm like, come on, Lauren, let's, <laughs> what we need to do here, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it was so cool. I know, I like, I love, I love your question, you know, whatever. But, um, so we don't have to do much there. No. So what do you think our timeline is to get that space open? I you think know, that we should be, um, To do know. our first, uh, and then we're going to have some ideas and people we might want to bring in. I'd say by the beginning of July. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, baby. By the beginning of July, wow. we'll be ready to start getting events going in there. And it's going to be a versatile space, so, you know, yeah. the sky's almost the limit. It's so we really can do lots awesome. of different things in there. Oh, yeah. So... We could definitely do open mic in there, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's what's one of the things you guys said, right? Open mic, and then uh, you're going to teach some of your classes there, and you can teach right. your, your college classes, and um, we can teach some. Um, like a the The, um, mm -hmm. the um, garden stuff. What's yes. the name of that program? Sorry. Gardens for Goodness. Gardens for Goodness. And um, wow, so many things. So we many can do. events. And it's Rice McDonald. I think we should jump, jump on with. Uh, um, so we already work with high schools and colleges, and we should jump like BHS should come do some stuff there. Mm. Like, what could they do there? Hmm. Um, they could help us. What's, what could they do? Mm, we could have a program, an arts program running, yeah. uh, an after-school arts program. So right downtown, they're right there. Yeah. 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 And um, I think, um, Hunter, we should open a recording studio in there. That would be awesome. That's awesome. I don't have to, I don't have to twist uh, Hunter's arm. He's creative. our big coordinator. I don't have to twist his arm behind his back to say that. Yeah. Like a <laughs> media maker space. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. There's so, yeah, I, I love that part. We always had recording studios. I was going to open it up in the back room of the University Mall space, but I changed my mind because I would, I'd rather use that space in the back um, to do classes mm -hmm. as well as... Um, like um, we got all these couches and stuff coming, you know. Once we get it, and the chill, <laughs> like it's, yeah. it's gonna be another chill out center, guys. Mm -hmm. You know, we opened up at chill out centers before in, the, in every mall, large mall in the state, but we're gonna put a chill out center back there and, and um, classes back there. And um, and I was gonna put a recording studio back there, um, but I think downtown is better. Yeah. Right in that spot. That'll be awesome. Oh man, yeah, that's gonna be even better. Yeah, this spot really has. Unlimited potential. You named it the function. It's the function. I'm like, I like that. <laughs> and she like, See you at the function. What's going on at the function? Hey, what's, what's going the on at the function? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, That's cool, mm -hmm. right? Hey, what's going on at the function? Yeah, I'll see Lauren, you at the function. what's going on at the function today? <laughs> oh, we have an art so wonderful event. <laughs> oh, there you go. So, so that's going to be awesome. And, um, I'm, you know, we are, we had, we know, we, because we had, we got to unload our space that we had in uh, Burlington Town Center Mall, mm -hmm. which is um, 
we had um, we have youth we had youth centers in there and in, in that space in there. We had art galleries in there. And we we've used that space since two thousand three. You Brunton Town Town Center and, mm -hmm. and then they closed and um, um <clears throat> they closed now. So we still got to unload that space that we looked at mm -hmm. two spaces mm -hmm. to our art so one for gallery. Yeah. Boy, boy, I just, we we got some we got some moving stuff. We got some stuff to do, you know. We got we you know, got. Um, hunters hooking up us some um, box trucks to do it. So, but first thing first, you know, we got to get that space in the back empty mm -hmm. to bring that other stuff. In. But that's that's I already got people doing that, going to be doing it. So I just gotta when I go to the mall today, I'll check it out. But um. We got a lot of good spaces. Uh, yeah, I know. So yeah. let's just talk about because I'm now I'm dreaming. You got me mm. dreaming, Lauren. You know, <laughs> the turquoise. Take the green out, put turquoise and stuff. <laughs> Is that what you just said, turquoise? Yeah, dark blue. Turquoise. Oh, y'all going to pick out the colors tomorrow. Yeah, today. we're going to go pick out paint. Oh, today or tomorrow? Mm -hmm. when are you uh, gonna do? We're going to do it today. It's... We're going to pick out paint today. Mm -hmm. We'll be painting next week. Woohoo! Whoop, whoop. That's Getting good. it all set up and going. Yeah, so that's going to be cool. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. That's gonna be awesome. So uh, I mean, you know, the function. The function. Everyone. So you're here first on Art So Wonderful yeah. show. Yeah. You heard and it first. You heard it first. So what else? Well, we got. I know we got something else. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to talk? Did you say something about the fashion show? Oh yeah. You did. Yeah. You did. Say something. The fashion show. Oh, let, let them know again about that because uh, we, we, it's always good to get. Maybe right. maybe somebody want to model, be a model. Cause we're definitely gonna need some males. I know you can bring in like tons of women, but we definitely need male models. You know. Yeah, yeah, any any male models uh, that would like to come model at our fashion show. It's going to be the Art So Wonderful fashion show at the U Mall. That's happening August 13th. That's um, Maybe I should give them my Saturday. number or something. Or you want to give them, or they can give my email. Mm -hmm. Art, Art, so won Art, so, Art So Wonderful. <laughs> my email is Art So Wonderful. A R T S So Wonderful, numeral two. At gmail.com. So that's arts so wonderful numeral two at gmail.com. Anybody interested in doing being a part of any of our, our um, events or projects or anything, mm -hmm. um, just email me, Bruce Wilson, and um, and then I'll and then I'll send it to Lauren. No. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll call, or I'll send it to our art director, Alondra de la Cuesta, who's our art director and curator of our um, galleries. And um, She'll get right back with you, or if anything that you want to do in our programs, uh, our um, programs or events, then um, Lauren will take, will deal with that, and uh, Hunter, they will make sure that happen. And I, you know, we we always we welcome everybody to be a part of everything we do because that's what our programs are all about. It's about working with people, youth, just rec people, communities, business. We have a, a, a clear record of doing that, um, and we have our programs have over fifty awards for doing this work we do, and um, and and people recognize what we do, you know, um, and it's, it's you know we don't charge nobody to be a part of our programs, you know what I mean? Actually, like like um, we got a people are doing electrical box right now. We provide all the paint for our murals and brushes and supplies to our incredible sponsors that we have. And so we, we just want you to be, uh, feel free to do the things that you want to do. Healthy outlet, that's what we try to do, a healthy outlet, you know. I be always telling my team, I tell Lauren every day, every day, we, we provide a service to the daggone world. We're providing a service. Service to the world. And, and we know we do, you know what I mean, and no doubt about it. And we're strong on that. And we, you know, nobody, they can tell us no if they want to, but it's not just our jobs. It's everybody's job to provide a service to the world. We don't charge nobody nothing to be a part of our programs. We, actually, we, and we help you with jobs, job shadowing, mentoring, tutoring. We help you get into scholarships through the uh, community people we know. You know, we work on a central level with our governors and senators and mayors and legislator, legislators, people who know me or hear me talking right now, they know this. And so we don't mess around. We own it to the same day. If it's after business hour, we own it tomorrow. And if it's a weekend coming up, like today, like today's Friday, mm -hmm. we own it Monday. But well, we were sending out the email today. Believe me, and people who know me, who know, they know I am. It's no, ain't no, ain't no, you know, it's the truth. So, 
So I don't know. I feel good about you know people who help us. We have a lot of creative. So people. excited, yes. I know. So um, what, great what you got? You got anything else on there? Uh, well, speaking of the U Mall, don't forget June fourth, Art So Wonderful Jazz Fest. That's something to certainly look forward to. Wow. That's going to be two o'clock at the U Mall. Yeah, it's going to be um, so nice. Right across from the Art So Wonderful Gallery. Maybe you want to get there a little early and check out the art in there. Mm -hmm. um, we also have the open mic, Art So Wonderful oh, yeah. Open Mic Gallery at Crew Coffee. That's oh, right yeah. at the top of Church Street. That's going to be June 9th. That's going to be so awesome. Oh, no. Five to seven. Come come check out, you know, you never know who you may catch on the open mic up well, there. Well, hold on. Let me say one thing. Like on, um, you're right. And so um, um, one of our sponsors, uh, Underground Closet, right, they're going to give us some raffles. We're going we're gonna to do some raffles. Oh, yeah. And uh, you might win some, you will win some cool from Underground Closet. Everybody loves that, that, that shop. Mm -hmm. so, uh, That's just awesome. You know. Zach is going to, we're going to see if he show up and give away the prize. Okay, Zach, come through. <laughs> you will. And then, oh, well, our, uh, bring up one more time just to put in everyone's head that wonderful ninth annual oh, wow. Art So Wonderful Tattoo Expo. That's going to be a fundraiser gallery. Once again, just to put in everyone's head, we are looking for tattoo parlors and artists. Come set up your booth. Show everyone your work, sell some of your shirts or hoodies, you know, get your name out there, set up some appointments for yourself. Yeah. It's going to be a great place to market and meet other artists, get connected mm -hmm. in the community, yeah. and also support a great cause, you know, art's so wonderful. Yeah. No doubt. That's going to be so, a... Yeah, so let's look at my email again. So, it's, um, so you could email Bruce, well, it's not Bruce Wilson, but, well, you could. Bruce, let's go... Let's go arts or arts a r t s arts s o so wonderful numeral two at gmail dot com so that's arts a r t s s o wonderful numeral two at gmail dot com just email me tell me you want to be a part of anything that we that um Lauren is explaining on what we're talking about right now and um, put it in like the subject matter, um, the art gallery, the you know fundraiser programs and projects, um, you know events. You know you you might have you I know you all have some skills out there too that that uh, Lauren we all need to hear about and um, and Hunter we all need to hear about what your skills are. And especially any art through um, Alondra de la Cuesta can will showcase in our gallery, but um, we definitely um, want you to be a part of everything we, uh, we spoke about. Just a little bit about the uh, tattoo um, event that we're going to have for our fundraiser at the um, Marriott. Guess what? So it's only twenty five dollars. Well, I think we haven't decided on how much it is to, for our booths, but but anything you sell, you keep a hundred percent of the proceeds, one hundred percent. So. We've got to make sure our artists, you know, are you know. Uh, taking care of themselves and of getting what they deserve. So, um, what else is that? It and we should close this or what? Yeah, that seems to be about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Cool, man. Looking so you guys are gonna get to paint for the electrical. Oh, yeah. So we have the electrical boxes all around. We created art so wonderful boxes, and like other other um, artists and art places have uh, took on our model, and um, you know. And, and do a lot more art boxes, you know. We got it from Burlington to South Burlington to St. Albans, you know, uh, Art So Wonderful. So, uh, and we just create that, we created those boxes in around 2010 or something, Art, art So Wonderful Electric Boxes. But if you're interested in doing some boxes or helping us with murals, we got some murals we got to redo. And, um, you know, we have 60% of the murals, in, the 60% of the murals in Burlington are ours. And, um, and so, we are always doing murals. We plan murals all the time because we love to see them. Of course. So just holler at me, holler at Lauren. So uh, you, do you? Should we close this? Uh, uh, uh. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in to the Art So Wonderful Show, yes, thank and I'm you. here with my lovely executive assistant Lauren, <laughs> and I'm here with um, Hunter, who's our right today. He's our camera man. Hey, Hunter. Hey. Holler at the peeps, man. We about to close this out, and um. And um, he's our event coordinator, so you know we got to run things by him. 
um, or let's we surprise him about let's pull in a recording studio. <laughs> it's a no-brainer for him. We know we got a yes on that one from him. So thank you for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon.